Hello guys. Thank you for tuning into the 6th episode of Journal with me. This is me inspires me z. Journal with me is a series I have been doing here where I share my love for art journaling, the process and my inspiration while doing art journaling. You can find all the videos in my Journal with Ms playlist in my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I am going to tell you a little bit about how I journal, you know, my art journal thought process and some some tips and tricks I have learned along the way. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I usually have in my mind while journaling is my color palette. Recently, I have been really using and experimenting with turquoise blue teals and greens so here i am mis- mixing my required colors that is taking some greens and some blues uh, it it is always a good start to have a color in mind to let you have a starting point and break the fear of a blank page So I am done mixing my color which is this beautiful mix of blues and greens. Starting an art journal can be quite daunting if you always have this fear of messing it up. It is the very reason why we always hesitate from writing in a brand new notebook or starting a sketchbook. One tip is to just go for it. Just take a simple color maybe and splash it on and call it a day. I was recently watching an art channel video by an art student whose teacher had asked them to keep a daily art journal as a kind of assignment. Uh, he said that it doesn't need to be anything fancy and just uh, write down whatever or you felt at that moment maybe even paste the picture and call it a day so hearing that was kind of eye opening for me to do an art journal because i had always seen all this fancy art journal in spools people doing this intricate designs and you know types of art journaling and it always always overwhelmed me and also i hesitated to do on start an art journal but art journal is anything you put on to a piece of paper the teacher had also explained that art journal is like making a series of decisions on a paper a regular practice helps you improve your decisions and hence does your art journal start improving and you start seeing those changes and you start making better decisions so you never know until you try and make those decisions once you get something on paper from then it's like mixing and adding and building upon different elements until i feel that i'm okay with whatever is in front of me these decisions are usually inspired from the books i read and the feelings i'm feeling at the moment for this particular journal i have been finding ways to combine two of my favorite colors blue and yellow to make something that looks cohesive also i am recently obsessed with gold and here you can see a lot of that in this art channel spread also i am adding some white with this white gel roll pin to give the spread some dimension now comes my favorite part where i get to add all these different elements and experiment around and create my mood into the paper in front of me I 
I usually don't have any particular style or method to do this. I try to mix and match things according to my set color palettes and move things around a bit to see what actually might like look good. Uh, as you can see, there is a lot of moving around. I am usually really, really confused uh, what I want to do, but I just make the decisions as it goes. And yeah, I chose this black uh, photo that I had printed. Uh, I'm going for a really uh, blues, yellows and blacks uh, color palette. So yeah, I chose this photo. Another thing that makes a journal spread stand out is definitely layering. If you feel like your page is looking a little blank, uh, try layering different elements and texture to really give it some dimension. Here I'm also using this gold tape uh, to really really you know accentuate my textures over here. There is actually no rhyme or rhythm to this. I am just playing around with these different papers and patterns and see what works together. Uh, you just need to you know make these different decisions to see that final product and you just make changes along the way as you go. I know not all art forms leave that room for making mistakes or make room for improvising as you go. Uh, th that is why I find art journals so forgiving yet enjoyable. So I am done with my layouting and I'm just adding few doodles around here. This quote is inspired by one of my current read at the moment that is Light Theory by R.M. Drake and it is sometimes to, to self-discover you must self-destruct. Destruct. So I feel this is very apt to whatever I have been feeling and experiencing at the moment. This quote is also inspired from the same book and is the best kind of humans are the ones who stay. Adding this cute little uh, print that I made and it's life in warm yellows. As you can see, I am all about that yellow and I'm doing this hard task of separating all the yellow stars from my star stash and just gluing it all down and it's a very tiring process guys and I am just adding one simple last sticker to it and my spread is finally done guys it's looking really really pretty bushy and also has all my favorite colors in it and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for staying till the end and if you would like to see more journal inspiration uh, you can check out my Instagram. I have linked that in my description below. It's inspires underscore mezi. I post different journaling videos, book reviews, and book recommendations there. Also, you can find more inspiration through my pin interest board that I have labeled as journal spreads. I have uh, kept all my journal 
videos and linked them together in this so that it will be easier for you to find that journal spread so yeah that's it uh, thank you for staying till the end and i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please uh leave me a like and subscribe and the bell icon so that you are notified okay bye